is who else would you like to see complete the I Heart Fall Challenge? So I'm tagging my friend Maddie, you know, once you start up your YouTube channel. Hey everyone! So today I thought I would go ahead and film the I Heart Fall slash Autumn Tag and it's a lovely cloudy day here in the Pacific Northwest so I thought, you know what? It's the perfect time! It's autumn weather, right? So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the questions. So my favorite scent, I feel like I'm supposed to be thinking out of the box here but I'm just going to go ahead and say my favorite fall scent has to be the Velous Spa Macaron Candle and oh my gosh, this just smells so good. It's not overpowering. I used to really like the Leaves Candle from Bath & Body Works but I think I sort of like burnt myself out. Oh my gosh, that was a terrible pun. But you know what I mean, like I think I burned it too much to the point where I just got sick of the scent and it is a three wick candle that I have so it's quite overpowering. Whereas this one is just a very subtle kind of warm, slightly sweet scent. Um, but it's not one of those scents that's going to give you a massive headache or anything like that. So I would definitely recommend checking this out. It's not really your typical uh, autumn scent. Like it, it's not spicy or anything. So I definitely think it could be a year round candle, but um, yeah. And these, oh, the best thing about these, these oftentimes come in like packs of three. So you can go ahead and, you know, gift them to people or whatnot during the holiday season or just, you know, for, Thanksgiving or Halloween, you know, have them burning in your house. Anyway, so that's my favorite. The best way to spend a rainy day, I think, is cozying up with a cup of hot tea and just putting on, you know, a good romantic comedy, like maybe like Notting Hill or Love Actually and pretending like you're in the movie, even though it's not reality, or, you know, watching some really good historical drama or binge watching Netflix, you know, all of that good stuff. Because on a rainy day, you just want the comfort of your home and your warm, cozy blanket. Actually, come to think of it, I have a funny story about this. When I was younger, my friends and I, I guess we thought that, you know, rain jackets and umbrellas weren't necessary and we would wander around the block around our house until we were sopping wet and then go inside and curl up with a nice cup of cocoa and just hang out and dry off. I don't know what we were thinking. Maybe we were sort of odd kids, I don't know, but we had a lot of fun, so that's a, a favorite fall memory of mine. Ooh, favorite fall drink. I feel like this is the question where I'm supposed to say pumpkin spice latte, but to be honest, I'm, I like my coffee. I like my coffee to taste like coffee. Not that a pumpkin spice latte doesn't, but I'm an Americano girl through and through. Like I will still go in and get my cup of Americano, a tall Americano with an inch of room, put my cream in it and I'm good to go. You know, like that's it. But on certain days, sometimes I will indulge in a good pumpkin spice latte. I mean, you have to at least once every fall season, right? Ooh, football. Um, you know, I'm actually not, I'm assuming this is referring to American football, um, but I actually don't really follow football here. Um, you know, I'll watch it occasionally with a group of friends, but it's not like I follow a specific team or anything. Is that bad? I don't know. Maybe I'm not like a quintessential American girl or something. Anyway, but yeah, not really a massive football fan. My favorite article of clothing this fall would have to be any sort of sweaters or, you know, something cozy that's going to keep me warm because it is the season of layers. So I guess probably like this sweater. I love this sweater. I've had it for ages and it's always kept me warm throughout the season and it goes with everything. So yeah, I guess sweaters or a nice, ooh, a nice chunky knit scarf, like an infinity scarf. I love those. A good pair of boots too, but boots technically, those don't qualify as clothing, so I'll leave those out for now. This one's a tough one for me because 
I like the thrill. The in so in theory they all sound fun, but in reality, I don't know. Like haunted houses, I feel like they always select the people that look the most intimidated by them, and that's usually me in the group. So I feel like I have a worse experience than a lot of my friends do. I'm much more of a psychological thriller kind of girl. Like I will sit down and watch a good psychological thriller on TV or, you know, go on a thrill ride at a theme park. But as far as like a haunted house or haunted hayride or haunted corn maze, I don't know. I feel like they would all be kind of similar in a way. So I'm gonna have to choose Haunted Hayride, because that sounds fun and I've never been on one before. Ooh, favorite Halloween movie? Okay, I'm going with the cliche answer here and gonna say Hocus Pocus, but hear me out. I am a sucker for all the classic Disney Channel original Halloween movies. Like, Halloween Town was probably my favorite. Yeah, it was my favorite. Like, the original ones, the original two. And then... Oh, you know, another good one was the one that was like the Phantom of the Megaplex. I don't know if you guys remember that or if it's just me, but I think you can watch some of them. Like they'll come on late at night on TV during the, the holiday season. And there was one other one, the one where it's like the magic one, like the, the one about magicians. And then it's this whole like conspiracy theory thing. Oh, what was that one called? Uh, I can't remember. This is terrible. I can't remember it. Anyway, I'll put a link down in the description box when I do remember, but all of them were classics and they're all fun to watch around the holidays, but definitely Hocus Pocus. I mean, come on. It's a classic. My favorite candy to eat during the Halloween season would have to be caramel apple pops. I love caramel apple pops because Essentially, that's what they are. You know, it tastes like a caramel apple and they're so good. And I feel like, yeah, you can get them any time of the year if you shop at certain stores, but at the same time, there's something special about eating a caramel apple pop around Halloween. You know, I don't really know yet what I wanna be for Halloween this year. I usually dress up, but I don't know what to go as. I was thinking maybe one of the like Dexter victims or something, but I've never really been anything that was gruesome. I've always been sort of just like, I guess, cheerful characters or people. Um, my favorite costume was probably, if you guys know the movie, The Triplets of Belleville, I went as the bendy waiter when I was younger. So yeah, I, I decided I was gonna, you know, slick my hair back and draw on a little mustache and, you know, it was, a, it was a really fun costume. And then last year I went as Scarlet in the library with the candlestick from Clue. So for that, I just kind of pieced together items of clothing that I found at thrift stores and made my costume. And I like to do something creative. It's always fun. You know, Halloween is the one time of year when you can dress up as anything you want and people don't really judge you. So We'll see, I'll have to come up with some ideas of what I wanna go as this year. All right, so that concludes the I Heart Autumn tag. Let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you wanna see more. Thank you so much to Christina Joy for tagging me. Check out her channel, I'll link it down below. And I tag all of you that wanna participate. I think it's fun to see how people respond to these questions. Like always, until next time, bye.